In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create faceless YouTube videos that will pass monetization and that are 100% created by AI tools. That means no creating video scripts, voiceovers, or having to edit videos. This is exactly how I create high quality videos that generate hundreds of thousands of views each and every month and make me a full-time income from YouTube automation. And by the end of this video, if you follow every step, then you'll be able to do exactly the same once you're ready to get started. So with that said, let's jump onto my computer and start creating a faceless video together. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is find a video inside of your niche that you would like to replicate. So we don't want to directly copy this, but we want to use it for inspiration. You could also go to blog posts and get inspiration from those, but I find that videos are already formatted in the right way for us to be able to get started from. Now, if you haven't selected your niche, again, I will put links in the video description to where you can get some free training to help you decide on your profitable niche for 2023. For the sake of this video, I've decided to select a video in the story niche, and I pulled up this video here. Now, this is an animated video and it has multiple stories inside it. So what I'm going to do is I want to select this video script for the first story. So I don't want to create a long video for the sake of this training. I just want to do a short one. So how can I get the video script for this particular video here? What you're going to want to do is click on these three dots here, go show transcript, and then you're going to want to select the entire transcript from here. And you're just going to highlight it all and go all the way down and take the entire script. Now I'm just going to take a small part of this because I only want the first story. So I'm only going to do a five minute video from story number one. And then what you need to do is come across to chat GPT. Now you probably heard of chat GPT. It is completely free. And this is what we're going to use to generate your script. So this is free. All you need to do is come to openai.com and set up your free ChatGPT account. Again, I'll put links in the description to this tool and all of the other AI tools that I'm going to recommend in this training. So what some people tend to do when they're doing this is they would just take the title of the video and then put this in here and say, write an original YouTube video script based on this title. And it will generate something for you. But what I find is it doesn't generate a great video script. It can generate a good one, but it's often quite listy uh, with some general points and you have to keep asking it to fill out different sections of the script. So I like to go write a similar YouTube video script that is completely original from the following transcript. And then I paste the transcript here and I go generate. And then what it starts to do is write out an original script. Now, what you need to be doing is making sure that this script is completely original. Obviously, you definitely 100% do not want to be just copying people's scripts and having sections that are very, very similar. So either you want to get ChatGPT to completely rewrite it and make sure it's original, or you can tweak it yourself afterwards. Now, I'm incredibly lazy, although I will read through scripts and make sure they are worded right and they are exactly what I want. What I'm going to do is make sure that ChatGPT gets it right for me. So what I can do here is I can see that it's written a script, maybe a bit shorter than I would want. I could potentially tell it to make sure that it's writing at least 1000 words or 1500 words to make sure that it fills this out. But what I'm going to do is just come up here and see if it's similar. So I can see it is slightly different. So some parts are similar when I used to work in a nightclub in Liverpool. So it has changed some of it. So what I could do is say, make it more original and then go again. And then we can see what it's doing this time is something that is completely different. It's on the same trend, but it is completely different to that script that we just pasted in here. Now, what I would recommend is that you take it across to Copyscape and make sure that it's not taking any duplicate content or plagiarism from blog posts out there. But what I do find is that it's completely original. And unless it's quoting facts from the internet or books, then it does tend to be very original. But it's always good to make sure that you're checking it with Copyscape. So again, I could say, write the text again, making sure it's at least 1500 words if you want a longer video. But for the sake of this video, that's more than long enough. So I can see that this is original and I'm just going to take that 
And then what we want to do next is we now want to get this turned into a voiceover. And there are two tools that you can use for this. The first of which is one that's called Murph AI. And again, I'll put links in the video description to all of the tools mentioned. Now, Murph AI is one that I used to use and it's more cost effective. They even have a free account for you to be able to get started with. And the quality of the voiceovers is very, very good. But it's probably not the best one out there. And I have switched recently to a more realistic one. We can just test it. Back in 1779, the first model of the human vocal tract was created. So you can see the voiceovers are very high quality. And the, the important caveat here is that you need to make sure that you're using realistic voiceovers if you're using robot voiceovers. So don't just use any voiceover from any tool out there. Use ones that are very, very similar to human voices. Otherwise, you will risk not getting your channel monetized. So this is an important point. I've made it many times on this channel. I prefer real human voices. But if you are going to use a robotic voice, and I do on one of my channels, then you want to make sure it's, it's as realistic as possible. Now, as I said, the pricing for this is very low cost. They are going to be increasing the price soon by the looks of it. But if we go to monthly, you can start with a free account. You'll probably be able to create a few videos from that. And then if you like it and you're happy, you could move on to, say, paying $19 a month, which is very, very low cost. But I use a tool called Well Said Labs. And this one is $100 a month to get all of the different voices. So it's a big jump and not everybody has the budget for that. But as I'm creating a large number of videos, this is the one that I now use because the videos are even more lifelike. And in fact, it's very difficult to tell the difference between a real human voice and one that is generated with this tool. So I really like this. So what we're gonna to want to do is come into this section here. Once you select studio and create a project, we can then come down and basically test a number of different voices to find the one that best matches the style that we want for our channel. Some of these are going to be explainer style voices or ad style voices, and some are going to be slower and faster. So it depends what type of voice you want for your channel. So let's try this one. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut. Don't overthink it. Now, hopefully... Hopefully you can hear that. It's incredibly smooth. Now, I believe they have a free account so you could actually test this yourself. So again, another free account where you can get something like a thousand words. So you can maybe create your first video for free and see which tool you like better. But these are incredibly good. I'm going to go with this one, but let's just test a couple more. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. So assuming you can hear that, it's so realistic. It's so like a real human. So this is what makes the difference between a channel that explodes and people can't tell the difference between it being a robot and being a real human being. And you can just automate the entire process. So let's grab this guy here. We're going to go with this voice. I'm then going to paste the text in here and create. Now, if it's more than a thousand characters, I recommend creating it section by section and making sure each part is working perfectly. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do it in one go. And as we can see, it's now already created the voiceovers. So we've got number one and number two. Let's just play that. During my time working as a bartender at a popular nightclub in the city, I encountered all sorts of drunk patrons. From the happy-go-lucky drunks who were a joy to serve, to the sad, mopey drunks who never so you can hear how good that is. It's really, really good. And what I love about ChatGPT is that it writes so grammatically correct. It's actually often better at putting words together than I am. Now, if you're actually creating scripts for things that have numbers and facts in them, you will have to double check those facts. It's not always going to pull the real facts out there, or it may be pulling it from a website that doesn't have the real facts. So it's always important that you make sure what you are using and it probably won't work for every type of channel out there. If you're doing very technical channels, then the information you have in there, the AI may not be able to do it, or you'll definitely have to rewrite it yourself. But if you're doing simple channels, like say the story niche that I'm doing here, or an, any number of other niches that I've recommended before, then this is going to be more than enough. Now I'm just gonna assume that these are good, but you would want to go through and double check them yourself. Then select here, two files, and select combine. 
name it. And then once it's generated it, just listen all the way through and make sure you're happy with it. During my time working as a bartender at a popular nightclub, Javier and zero memory of their actions, Blackout dropped. His eyes were glassy and vacant, and he was completely unresponsive to come. So I think that's excellent. So what I would do is then just download it, MP3, and we are done and ready for the next step. So the next tool we're going to use is a tool that we're going to bring it all together into a video format. And the tool that I like to use for that is one that I've mentioned on this channel before, is called Pictory AI. Now, Pictory AI, and again, I'll put links in the video description and a discount coupon for a 20% discount. So you can actually get a free account with this one as well to get started, to try it out for yourself. But if you do upgrade, then make sure you use that coupon code so you can get 20% off your monthly subscription. So don't pay full price. You want to make sure that you're saving as much as possible. So what we want to do once we come into Pictory is go to proceed here. So we want to go from script to video. That's the one that we want to select. Name this, call this test script. And then what I'm going to do is just paste in here the script that I literally just used in my AI voice generation tool. So I bring that across. And what I like to do is it's going to break down your videos into scenes. And it's going to select the scenes based on line breaks and full stops. So what I like to do is make sure that it's just doing it for line breaks, because I want to make sure that I'm breaking this down so that the videos change more often, because people's attention is often lost if the video doesn't change that often. So I like to make sure I'm not really having more than about 10 words per line. So let's just go in and go enter. And then once that's done, you just want to go to proceed and then select a format for the text that you like. Now, I personally don't like to use the text in here. I'm going to give you a tip on how we can get better text for these types of videos. That's actually going to add more value to your videos and again, make them more likely to get monetized and make it so that people are going to engage with your videos more and watch them more. But you can use these texts if you want. If you don't want to use an additional tool and you just want it to be done the video after this step, then you could just make sure that you're selecting the particular text type of text that you want. So go through, see what type of text movement and design you want and select the one that best matches your video style. So let's go back up to the top. I'm just going to go with this one. That's the format I want 16 by nine and click continue. And then just wait while it generates your video. And then once done, you are going to see this. What it's done is for each sentence that you broke it down, it has added a video to the screen and the AI has done the best it can. This is probably the weakest link in the AI, but it still saves you a huge amount of time and money. Because what I love about this tool is, as you can see from the watermark, it uses story blocks. Now, story blocks will be about 30% more expensive if you pay monthly for that tool, and you will still need video editing software to bring all of those clips together. So not only is Pictory cheaper, it gives you the same footage to be able to use and saves you time on bringing those videos together. Now, what I like to do is I like to get rid of this text. But as I said before, you could leave this text on and it's going to be different for each and every scene. And it just adds value to your videos. But I like to get rid of that and I'm going to show you how I add it afterwards. So get to the drop down, go hide text, select all, and that will be every single video. Now, as I said, it won't have matched every scene perfectly. You will need to go in and probably change some of these scenes. So I can see this bartender one here. That will probably match, but maybe you don't like it and you want to change it. In which case you go into visuals and you can just type in here a keyword and it will show you a different video. So I could say, okay, that would actually be a better video. I prefer this one. Switch it out to that. Make sure the time is probably long enough for the scene. And you can go preview if you just want to watch this one particular scene here. But then we're going to go back into the story. And I find using the story is the easiest way to go down and edit. So I go into the next one. Does it match the text? And then you just go in and you just change any of these you don't like the video for. You don't feel it matches the text. It doesn't tell the story in the way that you want it to. And you can just go in and completely change all of these. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to change any of these because it will take too long. You can also add transitions to each scene between them. I personally don't bother, but you are most welcome to do that. And then the next thing I like to do is come down to branding. 
and I like to add a logo for each scene. So if I go upload, let's just select my channel profits one. And then as we can see, it's added it here. Now I can make that logo bigger or smaller. I'm quite happy with that, but that's your branding on each and every scene. So it's already set up and it is now done. So I can also make it slightly more see-through, but I think I like it just the way it is and I can move the position as well if I want by changing the position here. So we've got that. So now we have our videos, we have our watermark. The next thing I want to do, and the reason I really like using Pictory, is that I can auto sync my voiceover. So if I come in here, and we'll go to the music, background music in just a moment. If I go into my uploads, I can select upload. And once it's uploaded, just click on entire video. And it will auto sync the text and video clips to your voiceover. So this saves you a huge amount of time. During my time working as a... Then close that, and now we're going to want to change the background music. Now, perhaps you just want some ambient background, so I'm going to go to ones that I've saved before. So let's just do that one. But there is a huge amount, they've got, I think they've got about 50,000 different types of background music. So I'm going to go with that one, I'm going to go to the settings. I like to have the volume around about five or six, let's say five, so that it's not too loud. I want the voiceover to be the main thing people can hear. And let's go preview. During my time working as a bartender at a popular nightclub in the city, I encountered all sorts of drunk patrons. From the happy-go-lucky drunks who were a joy to serve, to the sad, mopey drunks who never seemed to have a good time. I think that sounds great. I I'm going to actually say that we can go a little bit higher on the volume there. Let's say six. And I'm happy with that. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm literally going to do nothing else. I would have made sure that I've selected really good videos for each scene. I would have put my watermark on it and I would sync up my audio perfectly. And then the next thing I want to do is go to video and generate the video. And once it's created that video, all you need to do is click on download. The final AI tool I like to use to add more value to the videos to make YouTube and your viewers see the videos as being higher quality, which means again, more chance of your videos getting more views, more money, and making sure that YouTube monetizes it in the first place. So what I do here is I like to use a tool called Descript. Again, they have a free account that you can get started with and I will put links in the video description. So what I do from here is I come down and I get my video and I move it across into Descript. So I created a project, I gave it a name and I just dragged and dropped the video across and go done so that it transcribes it. And the good thing about this is it's also going to give me a transcript if I want that I can use inside of YouTube for my video, which will just add a bit more SEO and give your video a better chance of ranking. Now, once it's done that, you will see all of this text that's been transcribed down the side here, and you will see your video here. Now you can make this bigger or smaller or anything like that, but all I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna highlight all of the text and then I'm going to come up to all the different features here. Now at the top Descript, I'm not going to go too deeply into Descript, but it can basically add images, logos, text, video clips. It's got a huge library. You could actually technically build your entire video inside of Descript, but we're just going to go up to the text section here and go captions. And as you can see, it's automatically added captions to the bottom. Now I can move these anywhere on the video I like. I can make them bigger but I like to just have them at the bottom here. And then I like to come in and you can change the text. I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to go straight down to bold. And then I'm going to go and I can change the color of the fill. I'm going to leave it as white because I think it's probably the best one. You could add a border if you liked. So if I wanted to add a border to it, to give it more definition. And then we come down and we can see the captions section here. And I just click on the side here. And what I can do is select the active word. So what I want is the active word. I don't want a background fill like this, so I'll come in and I'll just bring that down to zero. And then I'm gonna select the color here. And I think I want red. Maybe red is too bright, but we'll go with it. Let's give it a test. That's what it's going to look like. And then the next thing I want to do is add an effect. I like to add shadow. 
And then I want to come back up to the top and see what this is like. During my time working as a bartender at a popular nightclub in the city, I encountered all sorts of And you see how it just patrons. works with it. From the happy-go-lucky drunks who were a And what you could do is you can go in and if there's any mistakes, you can just highlight that word and go on correct and just change it or add it. Maybe if it's missed a word, you can just add the additional word here and go correct. And that's it. You just go through. So I could go, okay, I'm not too sure about the border. I'll get rid of that. Maybe I want to change the live word color. So I could go, okay, red. It's a bit difficult to read. We'll just go with light blue. You can change it to anything else to match the brand of your channel. Who were a joy to serve. To the sad, mopey drunks who never seem to have a good time. And then once done, all I need to do is go into publish, export. As I said before, I can get the subtitles to be able to use in my YouTube videos when I upload them. Otherwise, I just go export the video. And then that is it. That is your video ready to go with a high quality voice completely made by AI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside the next training video.